Hello everybody. It was a serious, nice, serious talk by Sunil. So let's freshen up a little bit. I am I am a quiz master today. There is a new role in our club. Okay, so I am, I will enact a Hindi advertisement in English and let's see who can guess that. Okay, are you ready? Here it goes. Why Rosie Miss hasn't come today? Because her dog has died. Woo! Okay, sir, right, sir. This is a very popular advertisement on air these days. <coughs> this ad, on one hand, talks about little effort of that boy to bring smile on the face of his teacher, Rosimus. On the other hand, this advertisement talks about one aspect of love and emotions which not everybody can understand or I must say appreciate. And that is the bond between a pet and its owner. <coughs> Anyways, has anybody noticed the size of the huge playground and the big house which Rosimis has? Okay, significance of that uh, size of the house and the playground will be explained later. But, fellow Toastmasters and my dear friends, in reality, not everybody is like Rosimis. A couple of years back, I had a neighbor, a young and enthusiastic boy in his early 20s. He bought a golden brown Labrador puppy. <coughs> its name was Tintin. I used to envy that boy so much because I couldn't own one pet, that 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 dog, Tintin. But very soon, my envy turned into disgust because I came to know that that boy used to tie Tintin in one corner of his house for the whole day just because he has to go to office. And I also had been a pet owner in the past. I felt the pain and loneliness Tintin must have had been through for the whole day. Tintin used to get tied to a small partition in the dining hall of that house uh, around uh, uh, about four feet high. One day Tintin jumped over, couldn't reach the surface on the other side and hang to death. Just because we love animals doesn't mean that we are eligible to own one. Okay, now this question arises. Okay, forget about that. First, let's take about kind of people. There are two kinds of people in this world. One, who really love animals. And number two, who think that they love animals. People who really love animals do a lot of introspect and research before adopting a pet. They generally have some kind of hands-on also on owning a pet. Even if they don't own a pet, they don't have a pet, they show their love and care towards animals by taking care of abandoned animals, stray dogs, etc. So people like Rosimis fall in that category, I guess. <laughs> okay, no, no, see this, please. <laughs> I'm sorry I, I talked about Tintin. Okay, so, but my not so animal lover, neighbor, enthusiastic guy, he was not uh, in the first category, he was in second category. But now the question arises, how we will come to know that whether we will be able to care a pet or not without actually owning one? To answer this, we must be very, very honest with ourselves. Let us ask a question to us ourselves. Will we be able to afford it? Will we be able to afford expenditures, medication, food expenditures, vaccination, toys, like that? Second thing which we should take care that how <coughs> that animal would go along with humans, how well he will be adjusted. For example, Demand of a pet owl surged dramatically in the US when the first movie of Harry Potter series was released. Come on. <laughs> owl is a wild animal. He cannot go along, with, uh, along well with humans. He cannot play with us like dogs. So we should not go for pets like chameleon, snakes, tortoise. They are not for us. Similarly, recently a pedigree puppy of Paris Hilton is a huge craze worldwide. Because people, can, people actually think that they can carry that in a handbag. <laughs> we need to grow up, don't we? That pedigree puppy is so expensive to maintain, not everybody can afford it. And it's so fragile breed, it may die in the handbag. So we, don't, we, can't, we can't do that, we should not do that. So here the phase one is over, when we have seen and we have, we have seen whether, whether we can afford to buy and maintain or not, and what animal to buy. Here comes the phase two, where we must cross-check that the animal we are planning to buy or bring, will he be able to adjust with our surroundings, our locality, our house, our neighbors? For example, 
big dogs they should be adopted by people who have big houses like rosinus high walls big play area aggressive breeds like german shepherd they should be they, they their behavior is unpredictable because homely upbringing makes them humble we love them cuddle them from right from their childhood but their instinct makes them dangerous such pets should be kept chained in the public owner must watch and warn people especially kids who want to come close to their pets <coughs> but the reverse is true at home let your pet free let him play around explore the surroundings